Hello, I'm Dr. Noah Samuels, and I'll be presenting the abstract of the case series report on the botanical compound LCS-101 for chemotherapy-induced symptoms in patients with breast cancer. The study was conducted with Dr. Yair Maimon and Dr. Rachel Yaffa Ziskroni. Side effects of cancer treatment can be very debilitating and impair function, quality of life, and can often lead to a reduction in the dose or even duration of the treatment regimen. And it's important to explore other treatment options which can either prevent or reduce these treatment-related symptoms. LCS-101 is a unique botanical compound comprised of 14 dried herbal extracts. It is based on the rationale of traditional Chinese medicine. The concentrated dried herbal extracts are manufactured according to GMP, good manufacturing practice condition. LCS-101 components are tested for batch-to-batch -batch consistency using HPLC and ICPMS. All batches are analyzed and certified for heavy metals, microbial contamination, pesticide residues, and mycotoxins. Earlier in vivo and in vitro studies had shown that LCS-101 has a number of effects on the immune system and exhibits anti-cancer effect. In this randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study, Patients with breast cancer received LCS-101 during chemotherapy. They developed much less severe anemia, leukopenia, and neutropenia than control. LCS-101 was well tolerated by patients with no side effects. The present study was conducted at the Refuat Medical Center, which is an integrative medical center located in Tel Aviv. Specialists in integrative medicine prescribe botanical compounds to patients with cancer, and working in cooperation with their conventional oncologists. Patients are asked at the end of the treatment to score the severity of their symptoms as well as the impairment of their function and uh, quality of life. For this purpose, we use the following form, which is based on the FACT-G questionnaire. We retrospectively reviewed the charts of 20 patients who had been treated with LCS1 and compared their scores to what would be expected based on the literature. The mean age of the study group was 51 years of age, and the following eight parameters were checked. They were examined. Fatigue and weakness, pain, nausea, vomiting and loss of appetite, and finally, impairment of function and quality of life. Let's go through the main findings. Fatigue is one of the most frequent symptoms reported by adult cancer patients. In their study of 1,372 patients with breast cancer, Jans et al. found that 81.7% reported significant fatigue. However, in the present study, only 30% of respondents gave high scores for this outcome. Pain is also a very common complication of cancer treatment, with as many as 60% of patients with breast cancer suffering from some form of a pain syndrome. In the present case series, only 15% of patients gave high scores for this uh, symptom. Chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting, or CINV, it's one of the most frequent and most feared side effects of treatment. As many as three quarters of patients report chemotherapy related emesis. In the present case series, the scores given for CINV were low, with a mean score of 1.45 out of a possible 4 for nausea and 1.05 out of a possible 4 for vomiting. Many patients with breast cancer continue to experience a reduction in overall function and concerns regarding quality of life following treatment, as you can see in the uh, slide here. It's been suggested that function and quality of life can be improved by reducing the symptom load caused by cancer treatments. In the present case series, only 20% of patients reported severe impairment of overall function and 40% impaired quality of life. In conclusion, the botanical compound LCS-101 is a safe treatment op option for patients with breast cancer. The low scores given to the eight symptoms are encouraging, and it is our hope that these findings, as well as those of our previous research on chemotherapy-induced hematological toxicities, will serve as a catalyst for the implementation of large RCTs, giving patients hope for relief of their suffering. Thank you.